Uh, welcome to Nuke, Berlin, where I have Dialection with me. First of all, how is the band doing in uh, circa 2018? Uh, yeah, good. Uh, as you might have seen, we've got a new lineup. Um, so we've really, I mean, that came together as a three piece um, sort of about a year ago now. And we just got our new guitar player uh, January, February, I think it was. Um, so um, good, it's coming together now. This is the first real kind of proper full length tour that we've done. We've done a um, uh, show or two um, at home. We did uh, the California Death Fest over in um, San Francisco last year. And um, we did a, a two show tour in Australia, but this is the first full sort of thing. So it's good, it's coming together. Yeah, it's a little, a little shaky at the start, getting everything worked out, but I think we're hitting our stride now, so, so it's good. Okay, and uh, yesterday Poland, today Berlin Nuke Club. Uh, what are your expectations for this tour? Uh, well, it should be good. I mean, I um, myself haven't been over here at Europe for uh, 11 years. This is the last time I was here on tour. So um, I'm really looking forward to playing for the audiences here. I think the what I've seen with the... Um, the hype for the show and the tour on the internet seems to be really, really good. I know the band hasn't been here for a, for quite a few years, so um, um, yeah, no, I'm really just keen to see the European crowds. I really, really love Europe. That big pun, love Europe. And um, it's been a while, like I said, since we got back. So high hopes, and I'm really looking forward to seeing, um, especially down Italy, um, France, some of those sort of places where. Um, this sort of style goes over really well, I think, you know, so, so, yeah, yeah. And uh, how important are live gigs for you? Very important. I mean, I think w this band is, um, we like to be choosy about what, where and what we play. We're never going to be a band that's touring all the time because we want to be selective about the shows we play and things like that there. Um, so when it's done right, you know, I like that with the, the right crowds and the right sort of people. And, and I think with, with our particular style, there's like a, a, a really strong subculture, if you like. So it's just been that in different areas around the world. Yeah, like I always think that's really, really cool. Okay, let's talk about your music a bit. Where do you draw inspiration for your music and lyrics? <laughs> um, musically, look, a lot of it's the, the old, like death metal style, meaning sarcophago, blasphemy, um, yeah, a lot of the old German stuff like Creator, Destruction, um, Sodom. And things like that. Uh, some of the newer sort of bands as well, like um, Conqueror and um, a little bit of Angel Corpse for me personally, but yeah, a lot of that kind of style. Bands that are extreme, but not the too nice or too clean, like ugly sort of extreme death metal, I think is what we really draw our reference from musically. And lyrically, it's just, um, look, in my opinion, I think of this style of music, the, the lyrical content has to be really. Uh, Hateful would be the right word to use for this, you know. And like, really, you got to be very um, aggressive, not just in the content, but in the phrasing too. Like a lot of verbs, you know, action words that have that kind of power when you pump them out, and that really kind of primitive, old school phrasing, you know, very simple, but 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 staccato sort of words. So lyrically, it's 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 you know um, a lot of that sort of topic thing but it's also in the way that you write it and you construct the words to there's the words themselves and then there's the power and the way that it's pronounced and, and, the, and the punctuation and the, um, the way that it's ex accented and things like that is really important too so, so all those things together kind of balls together into how we draw the music together okay uh, your music has been uh, described as uh, black and death metal so, do you consider your music death metal or black metal, or does it really, you know, <laughs> we, play we a role? We don't really give a shit, you know. <laughs> it's, it's whatever, whatever it is. You know, we play what we play, and yeah. it's up to other people to decide what they want to call it or whatever. And so, yeah, we just play what we feel is the music that we love, and yeah, we identify with, and it comes from within, I guess. And uh, whatever people want to call it, I don't really give a shit, you know. Death metal, black metal, whatever. It's just names. Mm. Does the, uh, do those genres mean something to you? Do they have like special meaning? Like black metal is very distinct from other. Not today. Yeah. yeah, maybe 20 years ago they did, but not today. It's so blurred and everything's so mixed together. Um, and I think the way that the music scene has gone, and just in general, you know, not just metal, but metal in general, things are a lot smaller and more interrelated than they used to be. So, yeah, I don't really put any credence in labels. So, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you've been on this uh, metal journey for over 14 years now. 
So, uh, what have been the most memorable moments for you? <sighs> well, for me, I'm not the right person to ask. I've uh, been, you know, for like a year with these guys. So, um, if I was to talk about uh, this band for me, um, look, definitely um, California Death Fest last year was a really, really cool thing to, to be a part of and to perform on. Um, and like, I, I think doing this as well, you know, finally getting back here and doing some full length tours for this band which you know is is said before we haven't, uh, haven't really done since 2014 i think was the last big one so you know just getting out on this i think it has been the big one you know, as i said the band's been just getting itself back together and feeling out the new lineup if you like so um you know stepping out on this thing that we're doing now is a really important sort of step to take as well so yeah Okay, uh, but for you personally, as your you know musical career, what are for right. musicians? What are the like the best uh, experiences? Or what are the worst in the at the end? Um, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> um, look, I think um, my previous band, um, Dawn of Azel, look, we, we did some really cool um, stuff. Like we were really kind of the first metal band at all to tour Europe and America from New Zealand so just doing that in itself was really cool but uh, to me to play with a lot of your like kind of heroes you know at home we've done some really big ones like Slayer and and people like that but um, you know uh, the last time we came to Europe which is 2007 like a long time ago um, Emulation and Chrysium playing with them was was a really big one as well so a lot of the touring sort of stuff to me it is the most important thing about music is uh, albums in my opinion are, are kind of secondary it's the live stuff that I really like to get out and do so so yeah uh, talking about albums the last uh, full length was uh, 2014's Cassandrian so uh, do you have any idea when we will hear new music next year yeah we um, have a label and a deal I can't tell you any more than that but it's all sorted um, we've got the whole album Wow, well one song is almost done and then we've got the whole album done so we're pretty much after this tour we're going home and writing it and I think probably recording it sometime between now and December um, so that should be out um, early next year again I can't give you too many more details than that but it's all written it's all ready to go we're going to play a few songs off uh, from that album tonight so yeah okay and uh, can you tell uh, a bit what kind of music will we hear um, I think compared to Cassandrian um, it's going to be simpler and more raw more like Doom Cult or um, to a lesser degree War of uh, Audience All um, I think everyone in the band is of the opinion that look, Cassandrian is a really good album you know I, I really like that myself but um, I think we all agree we want to go like a bit more simple and a bit more primitive and a bit more old school um, Cassandrian was a lot kind of clean is not the right word but a bit more uh, tighter and, and sharper sounding than the older sort of stuff um, and I think that that's that was something that we did and that's been done and now we want to move back in a more primitive sort of direction so that's it's going to be more along those sort of lines yeah okay uh, as it happens there's actually been uh, oh this summer there's uh, a few New Zealand metal bands coming to Berlin and uh, we interviewed a couple already so uh, how do you how do you see the New Zealand metal scene today um, my honest answer is going to be not in a positive light. Um, I think it's really kind of died out at home and um, a lot of the community, if you want to call it that, is like non-existent. Um, there's not many bands at home, to be honest, that I think uh, are doing particularly good things either, so I don't really have too many good things to say. Look, I really like um, Harisiak, I really like um, three different style of music, but Carnal um, are doing some really, really good things at home. Um, there's, there's a lot of other bands that are come up and coming, but um, yeah, really, it's 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 it, it's uh, lost a little bit of what it used to have, so yeah, that's, that's about all I have to say about that. <laughs> okay, so for you, the New Zealand metal scene used to be better. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just more vibrant and more um, more people attending. Like a, a lot of the venues, um, at least in our town, Auckland, you know, really kind of gone out of business. And um, yeah, the local scene isn't as strong as it used to be, and people coming along. So it's a bit of a lull patch. And I think it's. I mean, I wouldn't feel confident saying this about the whole world, but I think you know this is happening in a few places where, uh, because a lot of the things that go around music, you know, the infrastructure, the business side of things that have been being depleted for years and years now, it's getting to that stage where it, this makes it hard to to make these things work and have the infrastructure, which is what makes you know this whole thing tick. So yeah, I think it's just a, a fact of life that goes along with that. Okay, thank you so much, and uh, break a leg tonight. No problems. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.